DJ Camillo, what's up, baby? You are the biggest in the game. Uh, very, very happy to be home. Uh, I'm back in the joint. Um, this will be the by far the biggest show ever on the big, 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 big show. And it's hard to make a statement like that when... You've pretty much had the planet Earth. I gave up thinking about who we've had on the show. Because the biggest on the planet Earth has been on the show. And um, this next guest we're supposed to have is so big that I was scared to even announce it. Because if for some reason they don't make it, 
I don't want to feel crazy. But uh, we're still watching these votes. The only thing I can tell you is if Donald Trump was up like Joe Biden right now, the Republicans definitely would have called the race already. So I think all this time we hear lingering around and kind of, and they want to be respectful of Donald Trump, who isn't respectful of nobody. Uh, definitely, they're bugging out. Let me see something. Because uh, we are by far the biggest in the game. And uh, hey, let me tell you something, man. You guys are so spoiled, man. Ass, do me a favor. Come here, let me tell you a secret, ass. Let me tell you a secret. Rest in peace, King Vaughn. I hear on, on your thing and tell me exactly what it is. Oh, I knew it. You know? All right, so we got to check here. Hit maker on the check-in. Hit maker on the check-in. You can just do it up there is the best part. All right, come on, stop playing, man. Oh, you back, you back. Executive producer Azariah Milan, AKA, she calls the shots and do exactly what she wants to do. See, you gotta know the yonder. You don't know the yonder. Let's go back, it's not there yet. Let me see. It's not there yet. I deleted my social media. You deleted your social media ass? So are you doing like a a, 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 cleanse. a cleansing, a social media cleansing? That ain't it right there. Don't worry about it. Uh, look for the, go through mommy's phone and look for the official. Yes. Yep, yep, yes. Fleezy Nation up NYC on the check-in. Uh, shout out my man, Andrew. Shout out to PNCY hometown. Uh, foundation, we giving away thousands of turkeys at Up NYC. We giving away thousands of turkeys in Up NYC, November twenty second. That's right, you heard thousands. We do it every year. Give back to the people for Thanksgiving, November twenty second, though, at both Up NYCs. We will be giving away thousands of turkeys in the COVID. We are for the community. No question. Um, rest in peace, King Vaughn. The young brother died too soon and his brothers died too soon. I never met him. I do not know him. Uh, but in hip hop, we have a camaraderie that... Uh, we love each other. And even though I don't know him, my, 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 my prayers and thoughts go out to his family. Uh, definitely died way too soon. I don't know what happened. I'm not really uh, well versed on it. Um, but God bless him. Shout out to Little Dirk and his whole crew because I know he was affiliated with them. Um... God bless him, man. Hip hop, man. We we become famous. We 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 live our dreams so that we can make it out of violence, make it out of uh, trouble, and somehow the more famous you get, the more in violence and danger you are. I don't know uh, exactly what happened, but rest in peace. King Vaughn. Um, we're trying. It's not there yet. It would have popped up. 
we're trying I know, but I didn't, I didn't. We're trying to pull off the impossible, and we always do. Uh, we bring guests on here. If you say Rakim, you say, you know, Chuck D, you know, these guys don't even get on shows. Uh, you know, we try to, we're trying to do something today that's out of control. Trump, guys, is losing. I mean, if you're looking at the votes where I'm looking, all that shit about, we got to read, count them again. No problem. Oh, they seen, they might have heard. Yo, bro, you take an L, you take an L. Concede. Uh, it's scary because they're giving the man too much respect. And if it wasn't Donald Trump, if it was anybody else, they would have been called the race already. Uh... And they keep playing these games. What are they waiting for him to catch up? Like, you know. Uh, I do believe every vote should be counted. Um, that is the American way. That is uh, democracy. So, somebody told me to talk about successful black people. That's what we do every fucking day. Welcome to the show. You obviously are aren't a fan of the show, never watched. It's what we do every day for a living. In fact, you won't find another platform that does it more than me. It does not happen. It does not exist. There is no one else who does it like me. We talk about redemption. We talk about change. Yesterday, we had Jamil Hill on here, which was... No COVID. I took a test yesterday. We had Jamil Hill on here. That man, that was a legendary talk. I would, I would tell you to go back to that. Um, I thought we were gonna talk sports, and we just went into that real shit. Um, and uh, very informative, very educational for people. Uh, and that's what we do on here. We try to drop gems every night. So that, you know, some people who might need just that one little missing key, uh, it can help you to being successful. All right, let's try it again now. And so... You know, I tell people, listen, guys, guys on my line trying to request, if you assume who I'm bringing on, I just want you to know I'm not tech savvy like you might think I am. But if you assume that I'm bringing your favorite artist on and you have like a clone account, you're playing yourself. Because if I tap your account, it's going to fuck up the vibe for the person who's really supposed to be on here. So if you love that person and you want to see that person up on here tonight talking and you worship, if you have dummy accounts, please don't try to come on the request because you're only fucking it up. <laughs> And I never told you who's coming. And everybody keeps saying, Chris Brown is coming. Chris Brown is coming. Stacey Abrams, she flipped Georgia. Hasn't been flipped in years. She put in that work. I've always been a huge fan of Stacey Abrams. Uh, and everybody, man. From the little lady who, you know, today I see my little girl, my Jewish girl, Robbie. Uh, older woman, she's diehard Democrat. She's involved with all, and she lives, you know, in my community. I seen her, she was down. And I was like, why are you down? We're going to win. And she was like, yeah, I wanted to flip Florida blue. She's like, the Cubans, the this ones. The, I was like, look, Robbie, we can't, we can't make it all happen, but at least we're going to win. And so...
And so, that's what we're trying to do. And uh, shout out 5,000, the one I had him on here too. So every day I try to bring, you know, intriguing guests, leaders in the community, uh, people we can aspire to be. And pretty much I'm trying to entertain you. You know, the COVID is very real. We had over 100,000 cases in America yesterday. I know we were consumed by the election so much, but be clear, COVID is very, very real out there. And, uh, and, and so protect yourself. You know, I protected myself. We, we, we had a little scare in the fam. Somebody we knew, uh, Said they had it, but they didn't have it. Thank lords. Well, you know, we panicked. And we started the COVID test every day. And uh, we're good. Thank God. You know? And uh, Crazy. You know? And so... And so that's what we doing, man. Uh, I can't wait till this is over and we can get back. I can't wait till Corona's over. I can't wait till this shit is over. Uh... And we could just get back to the light and party and have fun, you know, uh, not just be in such a dark place. You know, I feel like we in a dark place. And uh, Wild Cherry Pepsi, boy, I'll tell you, that thing tastes so good. <laughs> Wild Cherry Pepsi. Uh, just so many people, man. So many people. Shout out to the volunteers once again. Essential workers counting the ballots. Uh, once again, it looks like dominantly people of color. Uh, and you know, it's America. Everybody votes. And uh, whoever got the most electoral votes wins. And we can't uh, really... Yo, Rich the Barber, what's good? I see that box. Y'all see my shit looking real. That's my brother, Rich the Barber. He's out of retirement, but I had to go get the real deal. You know what I'm saying? He's the nicest in the globe, and so I had to go do that. And uh, and so, you know, and it's sad that we, you know, if you really look, you know, it's a lot of, like, protesters out there and, troublemakers and and um really like what could you do like if you if if your guy lost he lost if he won gentlemen without further ado by far the biggest entertainer over the last 15 years ha! the one and only C Breezy what is good that's good, brother. Yo, man, let me tell you something, man. It's like I didn't even want to tell the people you was coming because I, I, I just was like, yo, I, I can't even believe it. I've had Leisha Keys, Mike Tyson, presidents, everybody come on this show. But I really, as much as you have kept your word with me and you've always been yeah. 1,000, I couldn't believe you was coming on, man. How you doing, man? Man, I'm great. I'm great, man. You know, you my brother, man. I was glad to see you. You know what I'm saying? It's 20, 20, but man, this shit is crazy, man. I'm just, I'm just glad to reach out, man. We losing a lot of people, man. You know, you know, Chris, man, you know, you, uh, my daughter's 14 and, and you've been number one before she was born and yet you still the youngest guy out here doing it. Like, the shit is like the cheat code of a lifetime. Like, how do you stay so 
so relevant and so consistent for all these years, Chris? Honestly, like, with me, I think it's definitely my fans, man, because our consumers and everybody that listen to our stuff is, is the people who make us hot. Like, so I think the things that I've been doing is just trying to be consistent. Like, and the, the consistency is only, only with the talent. Like, it's like practicing your, your jump shot if, you, if you're in the NBA. I never stay out of the studio, and I never, like, I never don't have room to, to – I never not leave room to get better or grow. So that's what I've been on. I've just been trying to focus and just being happy to be in the present, like, in the moment. So I think that's what kept, like, my music consists. And I, I don't – like, I love everybody's music, but I, 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 I so try to stay away from uh, – jumping on on a bandwagon of something that's hot like i'll get on songs but i definitely want to make sure it's like it's stuff that people remember man like i want people remember that time chris did this or or i heard this song like i always want to have memorable moments and i've been and i've been able to have like such a great fan base and 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 let my talent speak for myself now that is like cool let me tell you something i'm jumping your your, your wi-fi is kind of teddy rally ish so so oh, I gotta shit. get to the gusto because, yeah, I don't want your shit to fall off on us. So I'm gonna get to the. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat around the bush. You know, I cried before you cried when you did the tribute for MJ Michael Jackson. What was yeah. you thinking? What was you like? What was you going through? Um, yeah, when you I was did that tribute and they asked you to do it. Like, what? What was? What was in there, man? It was so many mixed emotions. Like, you know, at that time, he's he was like, he's still the GOAT to me. So when when that happened, I was more so devastated. But when they called, like, I was afraid to do it because I was like, man, I don't want to mess up what he got going on. Like, I don't want to mess up his, his name and nothing by messing up. And I think a lot of things that I was going through in my life kind of, like, coincided with it. So, like, all the emotions hit me, like, in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be strong. And I murdered all this stuff. Then at the end, I got emotional. So, But, but for me, it was like, I don't know. It was it was eye-opening. It was just like, look, I got to take everything more serious. I got to take why, why I love this and why I do this more serious. So it was crazy, though. I, I had an amazing time. I felt like I, I uh, made them proud, but it was very emotional. Um, you know, I cried when MJ died, you know, I pulled over and, uh, and I couldn't drive. I was in the Bronx. I'll never forget. And I, I didn't believe it at first, but when I turned the radio and I went to the Italian radio, the news radio, the, everything was like MJ died, MJ died, MJ died, MJ died. Would you say that's who you model your your career after? Like, if there would be any any artist that you would say, you know, that you that that that, that you would want to be like that was before you, who would it be? <coughs> See, with me, I'm now. I feel like it's like eras, right? I wasn't able to be inspired by him or even us. Like, I can't, I can't diss all these people before, Genuine, Cisco, whoever it was, if I didn't have these inspirations, I wouldn't have the freedom to be be creative and do what I want to do. So I think now that I'm older, I don't want to, like, now I'm glad I'm getting able, I'm being able to write my own chapter. You know what I'm saying? I'm being able to to do it my way, but at the same time still show respect and don't, and don't forget where I got it from. Mm -hmm. So, so, it, was that Usher, or what, did we, or we ain't really get an answer? Behind. Like, there's not like one guy you, oh, you, no, no, you no. looked up to growing up. Main one was definitely Michael when it comes to the entertainment. So, like, and you got to think, everybody wanted those heat that he had on in the uh, <laughs> you don't have to call video, like. It's a whole bunch of it's a so all of those things inspire me to shape my own. I get it. Uh, 
I think um, nobody's fucking with Chris Brown, personally. It's just my opinion. Uh, uh, you've been too consistent. I remember one day you posted, and you don't brag, you humble, you posted some shit over 100 million sold. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. It was just some amazing number. And the thing is, you just keep going and going and going. Um, probably the greatest record I've ever heard collaborating, definitely in this era, is you and Drake, the No Guidance. Thanks. Um, and that's so hard. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look at that like we, we all watching the slam dunk contest, and right when we think Vince Carter can't do nothing, no better, he dunks his arm in the fucking rim. And we like, yeah. jeez, yeah. like, fuck that. He live up to expectations. Like, so you say, Drake, yeah. uh, Chris Brown, you're like, what the fuck is this going to be? And, um, yeah. and so we get it. And I never forget, I was in the gym. I heard this shit 20,000 times I was in the gym. And it was just undeniable. Uh, is it, Will there ever be a Drake, Chris Brown album? a collaboration album, like a best of both worlds. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, don't say that. Hold shock on. The world. Was that yeah? Was that yes? Yo, Chris. We got some, we, we got yes. some, we got some, we got some songs. We got some songs. Oh, my we got, we got God, some songs. This is a joke for a moment. Don't, yo, yo, don't kill me. Don't do it. Yo. Don't, we got, we got, we, de we definitely got some songs. <laughs> hey, yo, Chris. We got some, we got some, we got some Shit. heat. I feel like, Damn. I feel like we, we want to, yeah, man. Oh, man, that shit going to kill everything, man. That shit, that shit going to yeah. kill everything because it, it's, it was the most, it's, it's still, when I hear it, it feels brand new. You know, it feels like it just came out today. That's something. Yeah. Uh, that's something that's so hard to do, man. Like make. Yeah. And then timing man, to make timing. Make Chris Brown yeah. album. You got me fucked up, huh? <laughs> you go, you say, you, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely gonna. It's definitely gonna be something that that we working on. We going That's gonna be crazy. It's going to be the biggest album ever made in history. Bigger than the Beatles. All that. I promise you that's going to be bigger than the Beatles. That's going to be bigger than... Oh, that shit crazy, bro. You fucked me up, man. I don't yeah. get fucked up. You know this is a big, big show. I don't get fucked up. <laughs> you got me yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Um, and I'm so happy for the fans, man. That the fans is able to yeah. see Drake and, and uh, Chris Brown put together a whole... A, a, a whole album body of work that should be crazy, bro. Like, yeah, oh, it'll, I got one it'll for be, you. It'll Chris, be some right? unexpected. I can't hear what you say. That's amazing. Even the video, right? Hello? See, that's why I'm asking you the know. big questions early because your Wi Fi is acting like. All right, so look, I'm. Let me move around then a little bit. Let me see if I got a better yeah, connection. This shit somewhere. looking like you in Grant's tomb, man. You in tomb common or something, man? That's it. That's it. Under oh, yeah. the pyramid, man. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. We, we, we in the hut. You heard me? <coughs> Let's find one good spot because oh, yeah, I got one for you. I just thought of. Right. You can hear me now. I can hear you perfect. It's just no matter what, it's like that blurry shit. And uh Glitching you, and you all might that. You wanna know what's crazy, Chris, man. Nah, I need I need your face, man, because these young ladies, they wanna see Chris Brown, man. They wanna see your face. Yeah. And so, yo, Chris, man, you know, I've hung out with you before. And he freezing up, man. Damn, man. All right, let's go there. Shout out Naldo Benny. That's my man from Brazil. Yeah, perfect, perfect. 
Shout out my brother Naldo Benny. He's your biggest fan from Brazil, and he's like a superstar yeah, over there. And he always asks me about you. Um, nah, I yo, know him Chris, for a minute, man. He, he, yeah, you, you know Naldo. We freezing up. We freezing up. Yo, Chris, you might have to move around a little. Yeah, now those are good guys. So listen, you freezing right now, so I don't want to ask you this question without, shout out to the hit maker. I need to get a good spot. I need a good spot because this is, this is the question that goes beyond viral right here, right? And yeah. there's a way to go beyond viral without being sucker free. You know, these other guys, they want to interview our legends and icons and ask bullshit. That's not what we do here. We spread love. That's all we do. Yeah. You've been watching these versus battles. Yeah. Who would Chris Brown go up against in a versus battle? And would you do a versus battle? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I would do the verses, but I'd probably do it versus myself. Versus you yourself. Me? Yeah, I yeah, can hear you do it. So you wouldn't go, you wouldn't you wouldn't go up against nobody. I feel like I feel like stat wise, as far as like songs, like if you sit there and push play, like and not to be rude, like it's just like the amount of time of people who did music no, you better and they have everybody. their, their cat. You better yo yo Chris. Yeah. You better than everybody. That's not even a question. I got Vocally, I, I got so many I I have so many songs like I, I could just do the features themselves of the people I've done features with. And like and it's not no cocky stuff. It, and then I feel like I'm still in the game. So I ain't gonna do no verses till till I'm till I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, this is what I used to do. We still, I still got my foot in the door with that thing, so. Yo, that, let me tell you something, though, Chris. Now, but versus Celebration, um, which one have you saw that you loved the most out of the verses? Which one you seen that you, that you loved the most? You freezing up. Oh, you have fun with DMX and Snoop joint. Um let me tell you something, man. Uh, nah, you, your shit wildin' though. It's really, it's break dancing right now. <laughs> your shit, your shit doing the break that your shit pop locking and rocking. I said, you know, Chris, man, I, I got to hang out with you a bunch of times and it's always Shout out to my man, Ant, your, your, your manager, Ant. He, he calling us on the line while we on here. Uh, Ant, my brother. Love my brother, Ant. You always the plug. Um, you know, Chris, I've seen you, I've seen you play me maybe a hundred songs. That's perfect right there. That I never even heard come out. Like, I heard... I heard some joints you played me one time with, I think, Tory Lanez or like, and I'm like, what the fuck? Every record you played was a hit and I still haven't heard those <laughs> records. How many records you got in we the got, stash? I got, I, honestly, I, I got like 15,000 songs all in all. Like, oh, wow. But like fifteen thousand songs. 
Yeah, got about fifteen thousand, all in all. So, like, I'm I never stop recording, man. I feel like I feel like. Wow. Like why, 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 like hold on, like keep cooking, remain humble, keep cooking. <laughs> yeah, man, I love how you, you, your energy. You know, you start, you start battling. I seen you do a whole concert, come to the back room and start battling all your dances in the back. I like yo, this motherfucker got energy. Yeah, they gonna get that. They get this work too. They gonna get the work too. Yo, Chris, man, you just the best at everything, man. I watch you play basketball. If you wanted to go to the NBA, you could do it. I watch you play football. You go to NFL. You do art. You do fucking Picasso. You sing better than everybody. You dance better. What kind of shit? Hey, yo, man, yo, it's, it's, I'm not even lying, though. I'm not hyping it. But uh, did you ever say to yourself, like, damn, I'm so fucking talented, like, Cause, no, I just feel like if I if I excel that at a lot of things, which I do, but it's like it's almost being able to have a superpower, and then you don't want to be like, hey guys, I can do all this because it won't bring the type of respect to inspiration. So I kind of just do it because I love it. You know what I'm saying? And I do it, and if I'm good at it, great. But it is eerie and it's very very like irregular to me. Like it's still weird to me that I'm that I'm I'm able I'm able or capable to just you know be good at certain things. Be good at everything. You know AI was like that. AI was like that. Allen Iverson was like that. He's balling football, everything. He was just. It's something you know, in the water. It's, it's Virginia, man. <laughs> you know I used to go down there with AI, the Bad News VA. And hang out yeah, with the yeah. boys back in the day. And Virginia, yeah, so coming up from Virginia, and you just a young kid, shout out to your moms, because I know she's up, by mom? far your number one supporter in the universe. Yeah. Mom's got your back. I, 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 she done answered tweets of mine, like when I pop shit about you, and I'm like, yo, Chris Brown, you know, he the... You know, she'll answer like, that's right. He is number one. He is the best. And um, so from being from VA, and you had, who you had out there? You had Teddy Riley out there. You had Pharrell. You had Timbo. You had Missy. Missy. You had uh, Clips. Definitely Clips. And then you got, it's like DMV too. So DC, Maryland, Virginia. So, you know, we all kind of like take everybody. We like, this is this the fam. This the click. So, Shit, even trades like everybody's from. I think the people from Virginia have the talent, but we just need to expand. So as soon as, as soon as we're able to showcase it, we we usually. Uh, Did you get like a record deal? Like I met you, young. You was going to uh, Scott Storch, and you was with yeah. Tina Davis. And you might have been, I don't even know, 14 or some shit. And you sung for me in the parking lot of the Hit Factory. And in one second, I knew you was a superstar. I was like, yo, you're a fucking superstar, B. You're going to be the biggest in it. So with, 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 for the one person you sang for, they, they signed you on the spot. How did, how did that go down? No, I feel like I had a, a a couple different things happen. Like they listened to my demo, and I was on a I was on a demo CD with like seven other artists, and I had like maybe one song, and and then I remember Tina, she was working at Def Jam, so Tina definitely went and like like who is, who is this kid? So when she had me come, I did the uh, meeting in front of <clears throat> Def Jam, and when I got there, I was so nervous. I never, you know, I never sung in front of nobody, but. Tina was just like, yo, whoever's in the room, find the first female as soon as you start singing and go sing to her. And I was like, all right. And then from there, it was like a couple more meetings I had with three, three or four other uh, labels from there. And then it was kind of like a bidding war. But 
I, I remember I, I had signed my contract right when I was 14. I remember on running, I told everybody I was 16. I was only 15. I had just turned 15. So, <laughs> so, so you was like, so you was 14. I know when I met you, you was about 14. Yeah. You know, you was mad young. I was like, yo, this guy gonna fucking blow. I never forget, I went to Cool and Dre. Everywhere I went for maybe a week, I just kept saying, yo, I met this kid. He's a little kid. That motherfucker gonna be a superstar. I was telling everybody <laughs> everywhere I went, and uh, you turned that thing around, you know, in no time. Uh, it's crazy because I've been in places with you, and you know, I usually get attention. I think I'm handsome, but if we walk in a room with a hundred girls in it, two hundred eyes is on Chris Brown. What? What does that? <laughs> Yo, Chris. What is what is that like? Like what, what what kind of what is that like? I've been in places where they all like and um would you ever get serious? Are you ever thinking about getting serious with a with with a young lady? Yeah, I think I get serious all the time, but <laughs> I feel like like <laughs> the first question <laughs> But when place and it's like and I can feel like certain people might be feeling me like I still give them their their peace like I still give them their freedom like I'll play the awkward role like I got like cuz you know what I'm saying? however so as soon as I get in there if a girl yeah, giving me a little you cocky and nothing like that yeah, yeah, I've never seen you cocky or nothing like that. I always see you nice to everybody. Like, it's never, it's never been like. What you said? Let me ask you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you one, one, one more question, one more good one. And then, you know, because, you know, I know you, I thank you for your time. I'm assuming you in an island somewhere, some shit, because the Wi-Fi is acting like you, like it's sky blue water behind mm -hmm. you or some shit. You know, I know when the, I know when the Wi-Fi act like it's very hot, like in that, and like it's, <laughs> it's sky blue with fl flamingos. I know when they got flamingos outside and shit like that, that Wi-Fi act different. <laughs> Yo, so Chris, let me ask you something. What this this would be the final question. I appreciate your time. What is your top five? Chris, what's your top five RB singers of all time? Your top five R and B favorite R and B singers of all time. Man, I really wanted to answer that question. Yo, Chris, you keep popping in and out. I said, what is your top five? Nah, it's the Wi-Fi. Just walk a little bit further, man. I only got two, one more minute with you. But I, I would love to hear uh, your top five R&B singers of all time. It's that Wi-Fi when you in that islands and shit when it's flamingos outside in the sky blue water. Nah, we ain't got you, Chris. We ain't got you. <laughs> the big show, baby. The biggest show in the fucking game. Ah, we love Chris Brown. Oh.
06. We lost C. Breezy. Nando Benny, huh? I mean, he's going to come back. He's going to come back. Uh, wow. I try to tell you guys, this wasn't no regular shit going on here. It's Chris Brown coming on the big, big show. We do it big every night, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's the Fat Joe Show, the biggest shit in the game. If you ain't been here, you're bugging. Whoever you name has been on here. Yo, Chris, come back. Hold on, let me see my brother. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that shit crazy. Your ass. <laughs> Damn, I needed to know that one. I swear I needed to know that one. Who inspires Chris Brown? What's his top five? Dead or alive. Um, wow, I know the wild five was choppy, but it's very rare we get Chris Brown to uh, do interviews. And he knows on here, he is my brother. He is a friend of the show. And we are on no fuck shit here. This is celebrating his career, his life, his contribution to American culture. Uh, this kid is, uh, I wouldn't say kid, I'm way older, but he's, he's, he, he is Astro Boy. Uh, you know, he, he, he's something else, man. With, and, and as much props as we give him, we can never give him enough. You know, as much props as we give Chris, we can never give him enough props. Because there really ain't nobody better than him. Uh, he just told us, if he was listening, that he has an album with Drake. That he cut an album with Drake. Um, that right there will break every fucking record you ever thought of in your life. Um, and the No Guidance record, still to this day when it comes on, it feels like the best record I ever heard. And it sounds so brand new every time I hear it. Um, if he drops a record with Drake, fans will die. Uh, Success Clothing, it'd be too much, right? Because they both two, two talented brothers at the top, top, top of their game. Um, greatest album I ever heard with collaboration with uh, Jay-Z and R. Kelly. Best of both worlds, I ain't gonna lie. Um, Kells ain't a popular guy right now, but it's true. It was the best collaboration album I ever heard. I do believe Chris Brown and Drake will beat that. It'll be a flyer, a better album. And and that and that album is the best to me. Um is is it's nothing. You know, I was gonna try to hustle Chris Brown for a painting. You know, I'm building a new house. Uh I see you rock solid on the on, I see you watching. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was going to ask him for a painting for my new house I'm building. Uh, but uh, the fucking Wi-Fi. Uh, let's see, man. We're trying to bring light, man. We're trying to bring happiness to the people. Uh, we're trying to break through all this COVID, all this election shit, all the bad times. It's time to bring happiness, man, and love you know, back to the front, you know what I mean? We've just been dealing with so much. It's been traumatic. And yes, at this point right now, Chris Brown is legendary. Uh, and it's crazy because he said he got 15,000 songs. I know for a fact, last year, Chris Brown played me 100 hits in a row. If any artist had any one of those songs, they would have been out. Phenomenal shit. I never heard one song come out. He said he had 15,000 songs. That shit is crazy. 15,000 songs. That means it's great, 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 great. That's what you call uh, wealth. 15,000 uh, Chris Brown hits 
means his family's going to be eating for 200 years or some shit. He's timeless. He's timeless. I'm going to check one more time and see if my brother's back in there. If not, we're going to, you know, I try, guys. I try. I try to ask them all. Of, you know, I got to it. I knew the Wi-Fi. I knew the Wi-Fi felt tropical. I knew it felt tropical. So I was like, man, this shit might turn off on me. So I might as well get to it. You know, usually I dance a little and then I get to it. But I said, nah, I'm going straight to it. Um, yeah, Chris Brown. I mean, we've had Alicia Keys. We've had Sweetie. We had Kalani last week. We have, uh, you name them. Living Legends, Patti LaBelle, uh, uh, Stephanie Mills, uh, Mike Tyson, uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, uh, whoever you name has been on this show, Alicia Keys, uh, Lala, uh, just yesterday, Sharon Stone, all in the comments, you know, Stephen A. Smith, whatever you, whoever, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci been on this show right here. This shit right here ain't for play, guys. And we inspire the people every night. And we tell compelling stories. You know, your man Isaac Wright, you got the show named after him on ABC. He got locked up for something he ain't do. He got life in 72 years. He became a lawyer in jail, got himself out of jail, and now represents people in the courtroom where he got set up at. I mean, shit is unbelievable. You can't understand these stories. And uh, we bring it to you all the time. Because some of you guys might be at the point of your life where you need that inspiration. Um, and this is Supper Free. We talk about, we got Tamika Mallory. We got Reverend Al Sharp. We got Ben Crump. They talking. We have my son, the general from the rally. Cops chasing them. Him and Trey the Truth. This ain't a game. I'm waiting on Chris. I'm, I'm, you know, Khaled, of course. You know, Cal is the cheat code. Remy's the cheat code. Uh, Nori's the cheat code. French is the cheat code, you know. Whenever in doubt and I ain't got no artists around, I call my brothers and sisters. They pop Pat Poops. They pop right up. And we get it popping. Jim Jones, cheat, cheat code. You know? I'm trying to get to it. Let's see. Oh, shit. Might be down here. Yeah, we might have lost our time with Chris Brown, guys. We might have lost our time with Chris Brown. Man, I wanted to hear that. I really wanted to hear that. Rich player to God. Yeah, I really wanted to hear that. Oh, uh, let's see if we could come back, but the Wi-Fi is so fucked up. Oh. Uh, what did we get out of Chris Brown? <laughs> I cannot believe the man got an album with Drake. Number two is, I'm dead serious. I've walked in rooms with, with, with Chris Brown, and if there's 100 women there, 200 eyeballs are on him. The man different. The man different, and everybody knows it. And we appreciate you right, the king. Because after MJ, Chris Brown's the king. Simple as that. After Michael Jackson, Chris Brown's the king. Simple as that. It's just not even a question or a, a, a beef or I don't think nobody, you know, I, it's, 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 it's undeniable. Um, shout out Wild, Cherry, Pepsi, Fridays, Fan Mia. I want to connect one-on-one -on -one with your favorite artist. We'll wait like two more minutes. If Chris don't show up, then we'll, you know, that'll be the big, big show. Um, but uh, incredible, incredible. I was so excited that Chris was coming in. The man has kept his word with me since I met him. And I still ain't believe he was coming on because he don't do shit like this. You know, Chris, Chris, Kanye, um, they don't really trust this media shit. 
You know, and me, I'm all in on the journalism now. You know what I'm saying? So you consider me media right now. And I'm killing these people, bro. I'm destroying whoever thinks they close. Whoever thinks they close to Joe Crack is getting destroyed at the fastest rate. Every night we had the biggest and the best on the show. Buster Rhymes album out now for the OGs. Rest in peace, King Vaughn. Um, you know, a lot going on right now. Please take it serious, the COVID shit. I'm going to check for Chris one more time if it don't happen. Yeah, we the biggest in the game. And so maybe the Wi-Fi was just too horrible. Yeah, maybe it was too horrible, but we appreciate the young king, Chris Brown, coming on here, man, fucking with us, man. This is the big, big show. On every weekday, 8 p.m. Eastern, New York time, it's always a litty situation. Uh, for my regulars, I'm going to cl click this off so I can post it and test move. I'll come right back on and me and Ted Smooth will do our thing like we always do every week. I just don't want to play a bunch of music because whenever we play a bunch of music, they want to act funny Instagram and not let me post my shit. So I'll be back in two minutes with Ted Smooth. Peace, y'all. It's the biggest show in the game.